But first, we want to get back to that developing story out of Sugar Land, where a man was killed in an officer-involved shooting overnight. Police tell us the man was suspected of stealing catalytic converters before the shooting. Now we're hearing from the victim of that theft. KPRC2's Kathy Hernandez joining us now live in Sugar Land with more. Kathy, good morning. Good morning to you. It all started here. This is where police say that that theft occurred before the officer involved shooting. The victim we spoke to today says it is just a materialistic thing that can be replaced. That's not usually how Maurice Caraway's car sounds. It is what it is. Take it and move on, right? Police say a group of men stole his catalytic converter from under his Toyota Sequoia. This is video of the cut metal. His truck was parked inside the gated Imperial Lofts just across the street from Constellation Field in Sugarland. Caraway is now preparing for what could be costly repairs. That's not something you want to walk out to anyway, so it's just material things. You can replace them. Police say someone called them about the thefts at about 10 last night. They say when officers spotted the car involved, the driver stopped and the men started running into a field. Our drone officer was able to pick him up in the field and track him as they were as the one suspect was running through the field and was attempting to hide. As officers converged on him, he produced a firearm and subsequently our officer fired at him, striking him. The man died at the hospital. The officer was not injured. At least three residents at Imperial Lofts were hit. Ray Choppa's truck wasn't one of them this time. It's so crazy how fast something can happen and you don't even realize it. That's because a couple weeks ago, thieves did target his truck only a few miles away. It was all caught on surveillance camera. My, I parked my truck right outside my office window. I didn't even hear anything. I didn't see anything, and it just happened like that. So. Chapa's not taking any chances. He's since installed a shield under his truck. It definitely gives me more peace of mind. It costed around 300, 400 bucks to install, so hopefully that kind of covers me. The shooting took place right over the other side of this bridge here. I reached out to police just in the last 30 minutes. Of course, their investigation continues at this point. All they can tell us about that officer is he has been with the department for nine years. They have not yet released the identity of the suspect involved. Reporting live in Sugarland, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC2 News. All right, thank you, Kathy. And